a protected variable fields can be set within the class itself where they are are initialized or from a derived class so the way we can we can get get around this is by calling this this function here set lead priority so let's change this and instead of setting that protected variable from this function we're going to call the function in the class within itself so we'll call sl dot set lead priority facets sl and then and then let's run it and then it runs it and sets it and to show that that we can as well change this um, variable in a derived class let's go into the cells lead class and derive a class from from the from the cells lead go public class go corporate cells lead inherits cells lead so let's create the constructor corporate cells lead string lead priority string name string email string company decimal budget you're gonna call the base constructor lead lead priority name email company budget and we're going to have another function set lead priority we're going to cap pass it the corporate sales leads ESL so if CSL dot budget is greater than 300,000 just to show that we're calling a different one CSL dot M lead priority equals make it one in the company DAC, let's go modify our get company sales lead method. And instead of sales lead, we're going to send it corporate. And in our company sales lead, we need to change that as well. Our class variable. And in here. So let's run it. And you'll see that validate. I am able to, to change. Now we we'll talk about the private uh, access level and private means it can only be accessible from within the class and so if we go go back to our to our cells lead and we change protected to private what we just did it doesn't work anymore 
because it's it's inaccessible due to its protection level. So what we'll do is we'll change back what we just changed in our company DAC. We'll change the corporate cells to be the cells lead. This is in our company DAC. And then in our company sales, we need to change this. Oops. Let's change our class variable. Change it here. And then back in our in our corporate sales, we need to let's just comment that out for the moment. And then run it. And then it runs, compiles and functions. And then of course setting it directly from within another object is of course invalid. In conclusion, we implemented inheritance, polymorphism, and encapsulation using C Sharp. We reused uh, topics from lesson 1, 3, and 5. We added a child grid view to Windows Form using C Sharp. We modified and reused the product list class from Lesson 5 to implement inheritance. We created a get company size discount method and passed it a, pro a product class to implement polymorphism. And we impl implemented encapsulation by using public, protected, and private.